All right, chapter 14, 15 review. I'm going to try and do all of this page in one take, see how it goes. So um, this entire page is going to be no calculator. So we are going to take the first derivative. So bring down my exponent, 3x squared minus 2 times 2 is 4x plus 5. There's our first derivative. Now we're going to evaluate the first derivative when x is equal to 3. So we're going to have 3 parentheses 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 5. Okay, so I'm just placing in for my x the value of 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus 5. And if I add those together, um, let's see, 27 minus 12 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. So the answer is 20. Okay. Next one, I want the second derivative, so I'm going to look at the first derivative and take its derivative. 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6x minus 4. And then I'm going to take the, oh, here it says third derivative, so I need to take the third derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative of this. So uh, the third derivative is equal to 6. Um, therefore, there's nowhere for me to plug in my negative 2, so the answer is just 6. So this is like the equation y equals 6. So when x is negative 2, what's y? Oh, it's still 6, right? So that's the answer for that one. All right, next one. We did this one in class. We did it on the warm-up. So, um, well, what the heck, let's just do it again. Okay, u is equal to 4x squared plus 2. So I can rewrite the equation as u to the 6. The derivative of that in regards to u is 6u to the 5th. The derivative of my u here is 8x. Then the chain rule says I just multiply these together. So I'm going to have this times this. So f prime of x is going to be equal to 8x times 6 times u to the fifth. And I'm going to go ahead and plug back in my u. 4x squared plus 2, and that's to the fifth power. Now I can simplify that a little bit. 8 times 6 is 48. So 48x times 4x squared plus 2 to the fifth power. Okay. I just realized on my other answer key I made a mistake. Okay, so that's that. Now, differentiate with respect to x. So um, again, this is going to be chain rule. So this, I can write this as like y equals 5 minus 4x cubed to the 1 half. I want to rewrite any square roots with an exponent, so the exponent would be 1 half. So now if I rewrite this, I get y is equal to u to the 1 half, and u is equal to 5 minus 4x cubed. Take the derivative of that, I get negative 12x squared. Take the derivative of the y in terms of u, I get 1 half u to the x minus 1 from 1, that gives me negative 1 half. Now I need to multiply those together. So I get y prime in terms of x, or another way of saying that is dy dx, dy dx. I'm going to have, I'm going to multiply these together. I'm going to go ahead and put this one first. So negative 12x squared times 1 half u to the negative 1 half. My u is 5 minus 4x cubed to the negative 1 half. And now I can clean this all up a little bit. I'm going to write it, um, let's see, negative 12 times a half is negative 6. So I'm going to have negative 6x squared. Since this has a negative exponent, it's going to move to the denominator. And since it's a fractional exponent, I'm going to rewrite it as a square root. 5 minus 4x cubed. So there is my final answer right there. Okay, next one. Um, again, I need need uh, u substitution. So I'm going to write this as y equals e to the u. My u is equal to cosine of negative x. Okay, now this is kind of interesting because we have chain rule going on over here as well. So when I do the derivative of u, it's going to be the derivative of cosine is negative sine of negative x times the derivative of negative x. So the derivative of negative x is negative 1. 
So therefore, this is a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So I end up with sine of negative x. Okay, now if I take the derivative of e to the u, that's just e to the u. And then I'm going to multiply those together, multiply my two derivatives together. So I get dy dx, we're calling this y equals, dy dx is going to be e to the u. And I'm going to substitute back in my u times sine of negative x. There it is. Okay, next problem. Uh, again, I need some u substitution going on here. So my, this is y is equal to natural log of u. u is going to be equal to 9x squared minus x. The derivative of u is 18x minus 1. The derivative of natural log of u is 1 over u. So now I'm going to multiply those together. So my dy dx, my derivative, is going to be uh, this times that, so this is going to end up on top. So 18x minus 1 over u, and u is 9x squared minus x. I could look to see if I can um, factor and reduce that, but just looking at it, I don't see that I'm going to have any luck there, so I'm just leave it alone. Okay, the last one, we did this one in class as well. This one, we actually need to use the quotient function. So I'm going to have u is equal to sine of 3x. I need to use the chain rule on this. The derivative of this, the derivative of sine is cosine. But then I need to multiply it by the derivative of 3x. The derivative of 3x is 3. And then my v is going to be x squared. The derivative of that is 2x. Now I'm going to crisscross applesauce using my quotient function, which is v times u prime minus u times v prime all divided by v squared, v squared, that's x squared squared. And then I could clean that up a little bit. We cleaned it up a little bit in class. I could write my coefficients first. I'm running out of room. Let's see, can I squeeze this in? See if I can write small. I'm not very good at that. 3x squared cosine 3x minus 2x sine 3x. E, barely fitting. All over x squared squared is x to the fourth. There is our final answer. All right, that was page one.